there so today we have a neon cyborg look i hope that you guys enjoy it and if you want to know how i did it just keep watching we're starting out with the body paint portion and i did draw up a sketch for this so i had an idea of the shapes i wanted to create and since i want to try and make this as symmetrical as i can i'm first lining down the center of my neck and chest using a black eyeliner and then with the nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk we are going to map out the entire design you could also use a body paint for this and i'm just using white since all my pieces are going to be filled in with white later but you can of course use any color that you want to just make sure that it's something easy to wipe away just in case you end up needing to modify your shapes as you go i wanted to create pieces that fit my natural shape with curved corners and these little notches throughout and then I wanted to have one of the shoulder pieces further out so it didn't look like it was perfectly put together and also just to add a bit more interest to the overall look. Then once everything is outlined, I'm taking a white water activated body paint and applying a quick first layer to all the pieces. And I'm not really worrying about making this a super even opaque layer since I'm going to be going over it with a cream makeup. But if you just want to use the water activated paints, you can take more time to make this look more nice and even. So now I'm going in with that white cream makeup using a fluffy face brush to apply that all over what we just applied. So we have a nice even layer of white and then we need to set that in place using a colorless or white face powder so it doesn't transfer all over. If you just use the water activated paint, you won't need to do this step. Then with a matte grassy green eyeshadow, we're going to start out the neon effect. So I'm applying this along all the inside edges of the white pieces using a pencil brush this color we're going to blend in toward the center so it has a nice fade and then once i have it all applied i'm using a clean buffing brush to help blend out the edges even more Next up, we have our neon green, and we're applying this along the edges of the white as well, and then kind of messy blending out just the inside edge so it's not so harsh. This is a UV Hydro Liner from Suva Beauty in the shade Fanny Pack, which is also water activated. And as you can see, it is beautiful and super, super neon, which is just what we want, but I struggled so much with this product. I'm not sure if maybe I just applied it too thick overall, but it was just cracking everywhere, which you'll see as we go, so then everything I put on top of that looked all crackly and it was just really frustrating. Some brands do make actual UV body paint as well, which I haven't tried yet, but they may be better for something like this. Anyway, now I'm filling in all those empty spaces using a black body paint. Now for all the inner details. I'm starting out with a metallic silver liquid eyeliner from NYX to create the inner structure of these robotic pieces. I didn't make any kind of design for this or really look at many reference photos. I just kind of went with the flow. I wanted it to look like very intricate metal and wiring, computer chip style kind of. Um, sort of hard to explain what I'm doing exactly, but you can look up different reference photos to see what you might like. In certain areas, once most of the product is off the brush, I'm stroking back and forth to kind of semi-fill in those areas so it's not all just flat lines over black. I'm focusing most of these details toward the center of the design, leaving the outer spaces just nice and super black to help with the illusion. I'm just going to speed you guys through some of the rest of this process because it's probably more helpful for you to just watch what I did rather than me trying and failing to tell you exactly what I did. But if I kind of messed up some lines here and there, I either corrected it using the black or just went with it. When in doubt, just try adding some sets of those little tiny lines for the wiring. So then I went and did the other side off camera and this is what we ended up with. It was so hard doing those details with my left hand, but 
uh, I think it turned out all right. So now we're going in with a bright metallic blue liquid liner to add more lines and shading throughout the silver. I decided to pretty much finish this side off camera so we could see where it was all going. So I added another color of wiring, some shading, and a majority of the highlighting and neon bits. And here you can see how sad and crackly it was getting where that neon green was first applied. So now we're finishing with the blue liner and then doing the same thing just using a hot pink liquid liner. And again, you can use whatever colors you would like to. Once we're done with the details, we're going in with a matte black eyeshadow to add some shading around the outside edges of the white pieces to add some dimension so it looks like the pieces are lifted up off of the structure and wiring. I also really like how this shading made all those inner details look. You do want to be a bit careful blending this out so your details don't end up cracking or flaking off, but I didn't have any problems with these specific liquid liners, so yes. We're also blending just a little bit up onto the edges so they look slightly rounded and not super flat. Continuing with the neon effect, we're going back in with the white water activated paint and applying that along the edges, leaving a little space of green along those edges so it looks like the white is running through the center, lighting up the green. This first layer is going to be done in slightly thicker lines and not quite opaque and I'm using either my finger or brush to rub out some of the more harsh edges. We're then taking a bright matte yellow green eyeshadow, applying that along the inside edges of the white we just applied, then blending it out. Not totally necessary but I felt like it helped add even more to that glowing effect. I started out by applying it with a small flat eyeshadow brush, then using the same buffing brush we used earlier to help blend out the edges. I'm then going back in with the white body paint to add some highlighting to the areas on the robotic pieces that we want to make stand out more at the center of the chest, the collarbones, shoulders, and arm pieces. These are going to be quite subtle since our base is white as well, but you can build up the layers a little bit to help them stand out more. Then switching to a small detail brush, we're adding the final layer of white to complete the neon effect. We're applying this to the outer edge of that first white layer, still making sure to leave that little green space along the very edge. Again, I'm just using my finger to help blend out if needed, but for the most part we want these lines to stay nice and sharp and opaque. Then going in with our black eyeshadow again on a small smudge brush, I'm adding some slightly slanted out lines for vents to the chest pieces. I'm adding four on each side, the longest at the middle, getting shorter and moving out in a diagonal. I'm dragging each of the ends out to give them a bit more shape and then also dragging several short lines out from the main lines. I added some detailing to the breastplates as well and then I go back in with the black body paint on a detail brush to darken and define all those lines we just created with the eyeshadow. I mixed my black and white body paints to make a medium gray and I'm painting some screws mainly to the corners of each of the pieces or wherever you feel like you need a screw. And I'm making these in a variety of sizes. I started adding some shading under the two biggest screws on the chest, but I decided to stop there because I was just getting really super exhausted at this point. So feel free to add more shading to all the screws if you want to. I feel like it ended up looking pretty good though, especially once we added all of these white highlights to the tops of all the screws. And I just used the white body paint for all those. So now we're done with the body piece and moving on to the face, everything under that white line we drew in earlier is going to be filled in with black, but for now we're going to finish our outline. And even though I had my design, I was having a really hard time trying to figure out what I wanted to do around the hairline, but it ended up with something pretty simple. I just knew I wanted to have part of my face be my human face, so... Now I'm filling in the outline with the white body paint and we're gonna follow all the same steps for this piece as we did with the pieces on the body. So I then applied some of my usual foundation to the human part of my face and powdered it with a translucent powder. Then we're applying that white cream makeup over the first layer of body paint, then powder to set as we did on the body. 
I wanted to keep the eyes very simple and I'm starting out with a cool toned contour or transition shade and I'm applying that to the crease and blending it out into a subtle cat eye shape and along the lower lash line as well. I followed that with a darker brown, focusing that at the outer corner and lower lash line. I then used that same dark brown and applied it along the edge of the white, blending it a little bit onto the human part of the face. And then we're applying the green eyeshadow and neon green along the inner edge of the white, same as we did on the lower portion, then filling in the areas outside the white pieces with the black body paint. I applied a little bit of that green eyeshadow to the top lip up onto the cupid's bow as well. We're taking the black back into the hairline and onto the ears as well and we're following that with the white layering and yellow green eyeshadow to complete the neon effect as well as finishing off this piece again as we did before. So since this is pretty much all the same, we're going to speed through most of the neon part. The nose was bothering me a bit here so I decided to add a highlight down the bridge with the white body paint, blending out the edges before it was completely dry. To create a darker shadow, we're taking the black body paint, applying it along the edge where we applied that brown eyeshadow earlier, and blending that out before it completely dries. And once we've done that, I'm going to go back in with the first cool toned eyeshadow shade that we used, and we're going to blend that along the edge of the black. I'm then blending over again with my foundation brush to help soften and blend out the shadows even more. Now we're going to go ahead and finish off that neon effect and once that's done I'm going in and curling my lashes and applying some liner to the robot side. And I'm using a dark green, this is actually a liquid lipstick. I started out with a really big wing and then took it under the eye as well in a very rounded shape, leaving a little bit of space between the liner and the lash line. Then I'm using a small smudge brush to diffuse that bottom edge. I then decided I didn't like that huge wing and used the white body paint to correct and modify the shape into a much shorter wing so the eye looked more rounded. I applied the yellow green eyeshadow to the crease and around the eye, then took that grassy green along the lower liner smudging it down and also to the inner part of the eye and crease as well as around the corners of the mouth just making sure to blend everything out. And now we're adding some small vent lines to one cheek and some thinner detail lines out and up from the corners of the mouth. Then we're going to darken those up with the black body paint on a detail brush, then adding a few screws with the gray, and again feel free to add these wherever you would like. We're then applying a black eyeliner under the eye into the waterline top and bottom and then smudging it onto that green liner to darken. We're then adding our white highlights to the screws and for the tiny little ones I'm just using a simple dot for the highlight. And then I'm applying some black mascara to top and bottom lashes on both eyes. For the brows I'm using a black brow gel for the robot side following the general shape of my natural brow and then I'm using a dark brown for the human side. 
and that side was a little bit of a disaster and ended up quite a bit thicker than I wanted it to be, but it's all good. We're then applying a dark green liquid lipstick to the lips and this is actually the same product that we used for the eyeliner. And then we're gonna use a small detail brush to help clean up the corners and connect them to those detail lines that we created. To finish off, we're going to apply some lines straight down on the bottom lip using the silver, blue, and pink liquid liners, focusing the longest lines at the center of the lip, then tapering out. I also decided to go back in with that green eyeshadow to add some contour to the nose and just some more shading around the face. For my hair, I just slicked it back and did a quick braid and then we are finally done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and video even through all my struggles. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.